what I didn't like at Google, and I can answer that question with a YouTube video. You guys know what abstraction is, right? Like the fact that you can write C code, and then that gets compiled down to assembly code. Assembly code eventually will run as zeros and ones on like your CPU, right? Because that's what your CPU understands, the transistors that are zeros and ones. This is called abstraction, and it's pretty good. As a C programmer, very rarely you're going to have to like have an issue. You're like, whoa, something's not working. Let me go down and read the assembly code that my C compiled code was just turned into. It's not going to happen. You're not going to need to go down there because that's the whole point. This is good abstraction. You're not going to need to go down and read the zeros and ones, hopefully. The problem is that there are so many layers of abstraction and programming. At Google specifically, there's a lot of internal tools that are meant to abstract away lower level problems. There's a lot of them. There's like the build tools. There are the orchestration tools. Like we don't use Kubernetes at Google. We use something called Borg. These are really, really good tools. Very rarely you're going to have to debug Borg. It's probably not going to have any crazy bugs because literally everything in Google relies on it. Everything in Google uses pretty much the same build tools. So you're not going to need to go and fix those. But Google has kind of a problem. They have an internal tool for literally everything, literally everything every single thing. Sometimes those internal tools don't have massive teams supporting them. Sometimes it's just one guy working on a internal tool trying to get promoted. Then maybe they get promoted and then they stop maintaining that tool. So you're forced to use this tool and it doesn't work. So then the person, nobody knows how to fix it. Then you have to go and read the source code and you have to fix it yourself. Or maybe you're reading documentation on how to use this tool. It doesn't exist. You have to read the source code to figure out how to even use the tool. That's not fun. Nobody enjoys doing that. I would rather not have this internal tool in the first place because at least then I can just solve the problem from scratch. But no, sometimes you're forced to use a tool and it would be better if the tool didn't even exist. This is a problem that is, in my opinion, pretty unique to big tech companies because not every company is going to have an internal tool for everything. So that is one thing that I did not like about working at Google, in addition to a lot of the other stuff, because this just makes it kind of boring. Yeah, 100%, they're good when they do work. Most of the tools at Google do work, especially the ones that you use really frequently. I would never want to not have Borg. I would never want to have to manage my own infrastructure. Were a lot of them simple tools? Yeah, a lot of them were, and a lot of them do work really, really well. It's just more that there's libraries for everything, and they're not open source. So like when you have issues with open source libraries, you go immediately to Stack Overflow because almost definitely somebody's had that issue before. That's why it's good to use languages that have been around for a long time. Any Java issue you ever run into, probably somebody's had it before. But at Google, not the case. Even though there's like over 100,000 developers, a lot of them just have like tribal knowledge. They just know how these tools work, so they'll fix it or whatever. There is an internal Stack Overflow equivalent, but sometimes you just won't see people having that same issue. And the good thing, though, is usually you can ask a question and you'll get an answer, maybe even from the person who created that internal tool. So there's like the pros and cons. I'm mostly focusing on the cons, of course.